Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Sega 32X games on your PC. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is come to this link. Links is always in the description down below. And this is going to be for the free emulator we're going to be using in today's video called RetroArch. It's 100% free and it's a really great multi emulator. What we're going to be doing is coming to this website. We're going to be clicking on the download option right here. We're going to be scrolling down and then you're going to download whatever version best suits you. In my case, it's a Windows 10. I'm going to be grabbing the 64-bit launcher. Now, if you don't want an installer and you would prefer just a launcher, you can also just click the download version right here. And that's the version I'm going to be using in today's video. It just gives you an EXE inside the file that we can just run without actually having to fully install the application. Once this is done, we're going to be finding where your file is downloaded. And I have mine right here. It's RetroArch. And it is going to come in a .7-zip file if you downloaded the same download version as me. However, if you downloaded the EXE version, you can install it and start right away. For the rest, of us what we're going to have to do is find your 7-zip file. You're going to have to have WinRAR or 7-zip installed. I'll be leaving links to both of these in the description down below as well. And we're simply going to be extracting the contents. To do this we can simply right click, hover over 7-zip and we can just click extract files. In this case I already done this previously and I have my RetroArch right here. Double click into this folder and we're going to be scrolling down until we find a RetroArch.exe file. Open this up and then your RetroArch will open up. In this case we get a very PlayStation 3 style UI which is just for our hood. And here we can see all of our options and settings. Now, in my case, I connected up an Xbox One controller, which is automatically picked up and will automatically work inside the UI and for your games. I believe this will also work with a PS4 controller and Xbox 360. So the first thing we're going to be doing is looking for the load core option, which I have right here. We're going to be opening this up and we're going to be coming down to and looking for the download a core option. We're going to be clicking this open and then we're going to be looking for the Sega and we're going to be looking for Sega-MS-MD-CD-32X Pico Drive. And this is going to be a multi emulator core that's going to allow us to play a couple of different Sega consoles. However, in this case, we're mostly interested in the 32X. To install this, simply click enter or A or X on your controller and your core will download. Some text will appear at the bottom. And once that's disappeared, your core will be installed. From this point, we can click back out of here. We can click load core and we'll see the core that we just downloaded will show up here. Click A again and it will be loaded. And you can see on the bottom left, it's actually loaded here. You can see Pico Drive. And that's how you know this is done correctly. From this point to actually set up or change any of your settings, we can simply go one tab to the right and we have our settings right here. We can change all of our different settings. We have input here and we can scroll down and we can see all the different user input binds for one, two, three, four, and five. If I come into user one right here, we can see it's linked up as a retro pad and you can see it's an Xbox One controller and everything is mapped here by default. However, you can come in here, click and change any buttons if you would like, or if you have a controller that's not connected by default, you can come in and change everything manually here. So from this point, we're ready to actually talk about games. So we're going to be coming back to our folder right here. And in this case, I already have a games folder here with my Sega 32X and I have Star Wars Arcade here for my Sega 32X and by default your games will most likely come in a .zip file. Now for this emulator it's okay to run your games from a .zip however I always extract my games out and what we're looking for is .32X files as you can see I have them here. To extract your game from a zip you can really easily do this in Windows. Simply right click and click extract all and then your game will come out. Now if your game comes in a .7 zip or .rar format so you may need WinRAR 7 zip to extract it. I'll be putting links to both of those in the description down below. So I will mention, I'm not going to be showing you in today's video where to download games, although games are really, really easy to find. A quick Google search will help you out. So once you have your games downloaded in the correct format and extracted, we're ready to come back to RetroArch. We're going to be backing out of here and we're going to be loading up our games. To do this, we can come over to the very left to our main menu. We can scroll down to load content and here we can just open up and locate to where our games are. So for me, I have mine here. You can see I have my Star Wars and my .32x file. However, my .zip file also shows up here. So since we already have our core loaded in the bottom left, I can simply click enter to load up my game right now and my game will start to load up. Now, of course, I can change the size of this window at any time by simply dragging. It may freeze your game for a couple seconds, depending on what you're doing. However, it should work just fine for the most part. And of course, you can go back to the settings option like I showed at the start of the video, and you can find all of your settings in there. Now, because I have my controller already set up, like I showed at the start of the video, how to set that up, everything's going to work here by default. And all my controls are going to work on my Xbox One controller, which feels really, really nice to use. Now, in this case, you can see my game is running really well. And for the most part, I will for you also, because this is a pretty old console. Most computers should run this no problem. And the RetroArch core does really, really well here. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to play Sega 32X games on your PC. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found this video is helpful and you want to support me. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.